Hi, Gavin. Hi, how are you? Fine, are you? Good, thank you. You broke your hand. No, it's just a lot of enthusiasm and people squeeze my hand. You know, it's a good thing. They do it for, from a good place, not an aggressive place, but they squash my hand like this and every night I have to play guitar. So it just takes one bad squeeze out of a hundred and it really hurts. So now I just do the fist thing. Fist Because I'm English, I have to explain it every time. So it's almost more taxing. <laughs> it's so stupid. Good. Um, well, um, Bush, uh, two. 2.0. <laughs> That's good, I've never heard that, That's good. Um, the <laughs> first one uh, ended in 2002. Um, you've said about that, well, it broke up. We broke up in a very English way, quietly. Um, can you take us back to, to that breakup? How did it go? I don't really remember outside of just we reached a point where something, we needed an injection of something. I, I, I thought that to do a solo, um, to do the Institute, a side project, could be something interesting, reinvigorate the band. You know, I'd seen those, a lot of indie bands do that, where they're in like two bands. You know, you've got like Alice and Mott Hart, Mott Hart from The Kills, doing The Kills and doing The Dead Weather. Examples like that, that are sort of inspiring. So that's what I tried to do. It took longer than I expected. But um, I always thought the Bush would come back together and I really tried hard for, for years <laughs> to get us back together. When did you start trying to get the band together? Oh, from because when I was... Because Institute is, uh, well, let me... It, 2004 you started with it? Yeah, 2004 is where I asked again, just before the solo record. The solo record was going to be a Bush record for three months. So, and this turned out the guitar players decided he didn't want to tour and, and that's it. And then this time, you know, I did the solo, I had a solo career. And then after that, I was like, I've had enough. I don't care who's in it. Uh, I just want to do Bush. I don't, I, you know, whoever wants to be in it can be in it. I just really missed it. What, I, what did you miss? I missed playing the, the shows. I missed being in the, the power of the band and I missed the, the armor. I felt like a boxer with one arm tied behind my back. And even still had a bit of, a uh, bit of luck and success with a solo record. Thank you. Um, uh, um, but whenever I would play a show, I just would feel incomplete not doing it like Bush, you know. And everybody asked me the whole time. It's so embarrassing, you know. You go, I go to a, the cinema. I say, two tickets for eight o'clock show. They say, yeah, uh, sure. When's the band getting back together? It just happened to me all the time. And I say that to myself, so it, it, I'm having such a great time because doing it uh, was such a leap of faith, I didn't know what would happen. And it's, 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 it's uh, the reaction, the response has been so good. You know, we're on tour in Europe now, obviously, and uh, just so many great people coming out to the shows and people responding to the record that uh, this makes me very happy and feel very humble about it. You know, I just sort of feel um, blown away by, Someone, a really good friend of yours, gives you the perfect present and it's so great you don't even know what to do with it. All you can say is thank you and sometimes you wish you could say thank you in 16 different languages in 16 ways to show that you really are thankful. And that's sort of how I feel right now. Um, well, you, you, you waited for Nigel for a long time uh, to ask him, well, to, to do another record. Mm -hmm. um, well, quickly, why didn't he want to do it? Because um, he didn't want to, he felt that he missed, as far as I know, what he told me, um, he missed his first child growing up, he felt, you know, was away so much on tour with us. He was the first one to breed and uh, this time he just didn't, he, he looked at his children and he says, I don't, I don't want to leave them. So I, I understand, I respect that. I mean, I respect him, I love him. He gave me, he gave me life, so I'll always love him. And um, I, I understand. It's, a, it's a big sacrifice. It's a very big sacrifice to do this, he, to be away. You were saying he, he gave you life. Hmm. Can you explain a bit? Well, he made my songs a lot better than they were. You know, he was like, he did his job as a lead guitar player. And together, the four of us created uh, this band, Bush. Well, it began with me and Nigel. And so before them, professionally, I was dead. And then when we all did Bush, we all became alive. So I think we all owe, owe each other that effort and those years. 
That's how I see it. It's pretty so was it hard then to well, reunite and record a new album without uh, Dave and Nigel because they are they were in Bush too? Which one point? No, two? because um, I had already now done ten years with Chris, who plays with me. He played in last six months of Bush. He played in Institute. He played in my solo record, and now he's playing in Bush. So no, it's very natural. The dilemma was going to be if Nigel said, "Actually, I'm going to do it." Because then I have to have three guitar players. Um, I didn't know what would happen there. Dave, I was uh, didn't know. I thought he might want to do it, but I'm realizing now that when we do it, the commitment is so huge, it's so complete that it's not. It's it. He's got too many commitments, Dave. I understand, and and I mean I love Dave. Dave is, you know, with Nigel. There's always that sort of tension, the singer and the guitar player, and I, you know, I don't know if you interviewed him, I don't know how he'd feel about me, I don't know. I love him, but I'm not sure he's that generous towards me. Um, Why, how come? I don't know. Just, just because that's who we are. That's who we are. Because you were more in the limelight than him, maybe? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a number of things, but I know he also loves me, but I know that he also is mad at me. Because he's English. English people are really complex and, you know, because many they don't layered. Talk. Yeah, don't talk enough. You know, yeah. probably. I mean, now, yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I, there's no problem with this. There's no specific problem. Um, and uh, I wonder how he views it now. You know, I know that he must be following it and, and understanding what's going on. He's not the type to just ignore it. Has she has she heard the new album, the new songs? Um, I have no idea. No idea. I mean, I, I would imagine he has. I would think he has.